You are invited to check out Revive and Thrive Project's Kitchen in Action and meet their new executive director. The first event, August 30th from 12.30 to 4.30 p.m. at Grace Episcopal Church on Hall Street in East Grand Rapids. You don't have to RSVP, just drop in when you can. A second event will be held September 20th. Revive and Thrive Project provides nourishing home-delivered meals to those facing health issues. The organization has served more than 63,000 meals since 2015. You can find more information at reviveandthriveproject.org. And the 11th annual Shake Your Teal Feathers Awareness event returns to Grand Rapids on Sunday, September 24th. It's a one in the afternoon. This event is put on by the Michigan Ovarian Cancer Alliance. You can run or walk the beautiful trails at Millennium Park while raising awareness of ovarian cancer and celebrating survivors. There will be fun family-friendly activities for the whole family. If you want to sign up, go to MIOCA.org. Well, Michigan Street Restaurant's getting ready for an annual tradition with deep Canadian roots. Poutine Week returns to Grand Rapids starting September 14th. Poutine is a Canadian favorite, traditionally made with French fries, fresh cheese curds, and gravy. Even better, Poutine Week isn't just one week, it's actually about two and a half weeks. <laughs> This year is designed uh, to complement Art Prize happening around downtown GR during the same time. You can vote for your favorite poutine during the event. Want more information? Visit Michigan Street Poutine Week's website. That makes sense. I usually need a couple days of recovery after a plate of poutine, <laughs> so they should extend that to yeah. two and a half weeks. Hey, it's never too early to start shopping for your favorite holiday gifts, and an upcoming event's going to provide a great opportunity to do just that. The work of more than 30 West Michigan Lakeshore artists will be on display at Art Art the Brewery. It's a one-day show on sale on, and sale on September 24th in the parking lot of Salty Pecker Brewing Company in Norton Shores. Now, you're going to be able to sip, stroll, and shop from 1 to 4 in the afternoon. While most artists take credit cards, make sure to bring some cash, too. You can learn more at lakeshorevac.com. There you go. It's a little chilly start to the day today. Ooh, Feeling very yes. fallish out there. I know, but it's only going to last a couple days, and then we're going to be back in the upper 80s. Oh, I'll take it. All right. Yeah. 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 So like September hang on to gonna, summer as long right, as possible. Right. It's going to kick off warm. September will be warm, but for the last little bit of August, we'll take the uh, fall-like temps. We do have more showers and storms, though, arriving tomorrow. Luckily, though, nothing severe. Is, of course, we're still recovering from last Thursday. Today, though, plenty of sunshine, really comfortable, calm winds. I uh, couldn't ask for better temps in the upper 70s, which which is below average. We should be about 79 degrees for your daytime high this time of year. But by the time we get to the end of the week, of course, we keep all that sunshine, very limited rain chances, and we're back in the 80s by Friday and stay there into the weekend.